Fall is in the air and it's time to celebrate. And there are a lot of fun and spooky activities going on at the Museum of Aviation and Georgia Aviation Hall of Fame in Warner Robins. Jenny Moss joins us now to tell us more about the events. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Amanda. So we've got, like I said, a couple things going on at the museum. First off, let's start off with the Nevermore Hills Haunted Trail. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's an outdoor haunted trail. It's our first year doing the Nevermore Hills Haunted Trail. It's actually located in um, some private property that's right next to the Museum of Aviation. It's being sponsored by the Georgia Aviation Hall of Fame and the Museum of Aviation Foundation. And it starts this Friday at 8 o'clock. It's going to run every weekend through Halloween. We'll also be op open the weekend the night before Halloween and on Halloween night as well. So we're running for a total of 11 nights. And I'm thinking haunted trail, I'm thinking spooky, kind of scary stuff. Is this age appropriate for little ones or is there like an age limit that I mean, parents should be concerned well, or, or warned about? We suggest that um, anyone over the age of 12 come with an adult, but it, it, it is scary. It is a it is a very scary you know trail, but um, we do have some glow sticks that we're going to be selling. They're for a dollar, and anybody who is wearing a glow stick, w when the actors see them, they will know to tone down the scare some. So there is an option to have the actors back off a little bit. Oh, I love a good scary uh, Halloween trail though. So we're, you mentioned the dates. Is there a price involved with this trail? Yes. Um, it's $13 for anyone that, that goes through the trail and then if they actually do want to get the glow sticks, those are a dollar. All right, and then there's also another event going on at the museum, yes. a little a little less scary for the little <laughs> ones. It's the second annual Fall Fun Day. Tell me yes. a little bit about that. That is next Saturday, October 19th. It's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, armbands for that are $10. We're going to have a huge boot camp obstacle course out there. Um, we're going to have uh, something called Big Glove Boxing, which is uh, kids get to put on these big boxing gloves and kind of fight each other. Uh, Cakewalk. We're going to have horse rides, bounce houses, um, pumpkin carving contests, costume contests for the kids, and another a number of other activities throughout the days. Vendors um, will have people with food and things like that. So it's a really great family day. And second annual, so obviously this was yes. a huge success last year? Yes, we, we had it last year. We didn't get as much time to promote it last year, but we've been promoting it a lot this year, and we've added a number of new things, and we're really excited about it what we've added. Some things that caught my eye, the costume contest and the mm -hmm. pumpkin carving contest. Tell me a little bit about both of those activities. Well, for the pumpkin carving contest, we will have a station set up where they can actually go ahead and carve their pumpkins there, or they can bring in pumpkins that they've already carved from home. Um, we have some age groups that we have somewhere from like ages from the little ones, I think, to nine, and then we have um, teenage and adult entries and they'll be judged based on that. We'll have prizes for that. And then for the um, costume contest, that's ages one to nine and I think they're categorized from ages one to four and then five to nine. And they'll just enter that. That's at two o'clock. They'll We'll kind of parade them around the museum and we had a lot of fun with that last year. That's you know, really cute kids that came out and so. So we've got a lot of fun stuff going on in the next couple of weeks over at the museum. Yes. To recap, the, as I said, a lot of good stuff happening. The Nevermore Hills Haunted Trail is open on the weekends and the October 30th and 31st. Tickets for that trail are $13 and the Fall Fun Day is next Saturday, October 19th, and it costs $10 to get a wristband. For more information, visit mu museumofaviation.org.